It's the second race of round five of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East. The tension rises as the championship enters the crucial phase. Saudi Falcons Abdulaziz Al Faisal won race one at the Dubai Autodrome, narrowing the gap to championship leader Clement Schmidt to only 19 points. Schmidt was forced to withdraw in race one after a self-inflicted collision that also led to his suspension for race two. I'm really sorry for everyone. Zayed Ashkanani from Kuwait finds the best line in qualifying and starts from pole position. There is a, now a bigger chance to win the championship, so we will fight for it. Saudi's Fahad Al Ghosaibi starts from second. 0 0.006 behind Zayed. It's really close, you know, very competitive as well, so uh, pushing each other to do better. Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa of Team Bahrain is on third. Ashkanani has an excellent start on the clean side of the track and keeps the lead. Algo Saibi is close behind, followed by Abdulaziz Al Faisal, who manages to overtake Al Khalifa in the first corner. Hasha Al Maktoum of the Skydive Dubai Falcons gains four positions in the first lap after starting from ninth position. A few laps later, he passes his teammate Saeed Al Mahiri to close in on the leading group. Fahad Al Ghosaibi of Classic Arabia Racing puts constant pressure on the race leader Zayed Ashkanani. Tried to put a lot of pressure on Zayed, you know, throughout the race, but his performance was amazing. He was very consistent. His exits were always quick, so it was hard to get him. I'm really scared to make a mistake, so I know if I make a small mistake, he will pass. In midfield, positions change constantly with Christina Nielsen, Faisal bin Laden, Karim Al Azari, and Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa fighting for a top six finish. Hasha Al Maktoum aims for a podium finish in front of his home crowd and pushes hard to overtake third placed Abdulaziz Al Faisal. Hasha closed the gap and was much faster on the, on the exit of every corner. Al Maktoum uses his chance to pass Al Faisal in the famous bowl corner. I maintained the, uh, the way through and I end up finishing third. Zayed Ashkanani celebrates a clean start to finish victory, powering his way to the top of the Drivers' Championship. So I'm really happy with those. And congratulations. Well, you deserve it. <laughs> Fahad Al Ghosaibi becomes a regular on the podium, finishing second. I'm very happy. I mean, losing to Zayd isn't really a loss, you know. He's an amazing driver, very talented, and, uh, you know, just uh, being behind him, you know, I learned a lot from his lines as well. It was a good experience. But the man of the race is Hasha Al Maktoum, who worked his way through the field from ninth position to finish on third. I'm quite happy about my teammate yesterday. He finished second, and I've done another podium today, third. It will be a thrilling climax on the final race weekend in Bahrain. Zayed Ashkanani now leads with 199 points. Clement Schmidt and Abdulaziz Al Faisal are only three points behind with 196 points each.
In the team category, Al Nabuda still leads the table with 342 points, followed by the Saudi Falcons with 320 and the Skydive Dubai Falcons with 310 points. Stay tuned for the grand finale of the fifth season of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East at the Bahrain International Circuit.